Hi, my name is Cyril Gupta and in this video we will learn about harvest users and how we can use the various functions in harvest users to get the details of users who've got account in YouTube and who we can contact or reach out to. There are four ways in which you can harvest data or users from YouTube right now. You can add a user ID manually, you can find users from keywords, you can uh, harvest users from YouTube pages, or you can harvest users from YouTube feeds. Let's try adding a user manually. Click on add user and you'll be asked to fill in an order ID and select a user group. So uh, let's fill in my ID for example. And in user group, we already have some user groups over here which I've created earlier. But for this video, I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to call it people. Right. And just click submit. And Market Jeet will verify that the user exists. And if there's nothing wrong, it will add the user to the database that it has. And how can you find out whether it's been done or not? Click on home. And there's this button which says get harvest statistics click here and your group the group that we just created people it should appear here with the number of contacts that have been collected in it which is presently one which is me you cannot see the, the exact IDs in market Jeet right now because we are trying to protect against spam so uh, at this moment I haven't enabled it but in the future versions depending on how people use it we can probably provide this feature Let's go back to harvest users. The second option is find from keywords. This section actually lets you capture the users who have created videos in your niche. So uh, just type in your keyword. For example, my favorite niche is programming. So I'll type programming and I will also uh, choose the number of contacts that I wish to obtain and uh, market Jeet will get up to that many usually the number is much lesser because market G does not duplicate any of the contacts which means that if you already have a contact added to market G through a, a, an operation or a task market G will not add the same contact again to the list so that we can avoid spamming those people right so in this particular operation I'll go for 500 contacts which means I will try to get 500 people who are in the programming niche and who have created videos in the programming niche and I'm going to assign them to the uh, user group that I just created when I created a new user manually and I'll call it people it was called people so I'll assign it to people and just need to click submit okay now what market did did was it created a set of pending tasks and if you go down a bit near the start button you'll notice that the text here it says now pending tasks 10 market sheet will create one task for every 50 users or every 50 videos when you harvest them in this particular instance we wanted 500 500 divided by 50 10 which means we have 10 different tasks and those 500 users will be collected from YouTube by sending 10 separate requests to YouTube and how does it work just click on start and the tasks will start working when it comes to data harvesting tasks MarketJIT Pro can run up to three concurrent threads, which it is doing right now. Uh, so uh, you can see that it's been uh, copying, it's been getting the data from Google, from YouTube, in three different threads. And as each operation is finished, the pending task disappears. This is the pending task list. 